Well, the weather continues to be back and forth with the heat and then the cold and also with the rain and then sunshine. And this is making some fruit farmers pretty nervous. Channel 2's Jen Stanonis is up in Niagara County and she explains why. It is now local fruit season and strawberries being harvested this week and fruit trees, while delayed, are coming along well. The apricots are growing well here along Lake Ontario, as well as the cherries at this farm in Appleton in Niagara County, despite the up and down weather the past couple months. April was record cool. We were at least a week behind and then May came and May was just the opposite. May was warm and things actually moved ahead. Jim Bittner is the owner of Bittner Singer Orchards and says the fruit is getting closer to harvest and that's when it's actually the time to worry about the weather. Especially sweet cherries are really stressful for harvest. In fact, even too much rain can be a big problem and most of a cherry crop can even be wiped out. The worst thing is if it rains in the evening and then the, the fruit stays wet all night, we come out in the morning and we have a lot of cracked cherries. And once they're cracked, they're worthless. It's so full of sugar and a, a cherry cannot expand. So the water on the outside goes through the skin to get to the sugar and actually the cherry explodes. It cracks that way. And Jim says it has happened before, but thankfully it doesn't happen often. One year I can remember back in the 90s, we lost our entire sweet cherry crop because it just rained and rained and rained all of, of July. Uh, the way we're set up today, we have many different varieties that ripen throughout the month of July. So here's to hoping for some sunny days leading up to the local sweet cherry harvest. Cherries should start their harvest in a few weeks, followed by apricots. In Appleton, Jennifer Stanonis, Channel 2 News.